Let's have a little look at the variety of Unix variants that exist in the world at the moment. The first thing to say is that there are hundreds of them. This might seem, seem excessive, but it's true. Hundreds of companies, universities and research labs have all come up with their own slightly different variant on Unix. Many of these are now no longer in development and are no longer supported, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a copy of any of them running on computers around the world. Nevertheless, there are still roughly about 80 being developed and supported. I'll show you a website that lists all of the major variants of Unix and also shows a good timeline of the history of the development of these variants of Unix. Here's the web page that shows the list of variants. You don't need to uh, take note of this particular URL because I will put that on the links page that I include on the CD. So you'll find it there. Write it down if you want to. Now if you scroll down this page a bit, I'll just do that. Here we are a little over halfway down the page. You'll find brief notes on some well-known Unixes or Unices as they call them. And the list is enormous. It gives some good details about it most of the popular ones. Sadly it doesn't give any links to their home web pages. And once you get down to the bottom of that list you find a similar list on real-time Unixes and so on. So have a browse through that. It makes moderately interesting reading if you're into that kind of thing. I'll now pull up the page on the Unix timeline. OK, here's another page. Now, this diagram, which you can't see all that well, it just looks like a series of dots because it's rendered in such small resolution, is a timeline of the various versions of Unix. Now, I'll, I'll click on that so you can see a full-sized version. And this is the page that comes up. Let's scroll through it a bit. This is the first version of Unix, UNICS, in September 1969. And it goes and shows you the various diverting and converging um, versions of Unix, which is just an extraordinary thing, all the way through to May 21st, 2001, which is exactly one month ago at the time that I'm reading these words. Again, I will put this particular URL on my links page that I include with this CD. I'll now show you a table of some of the major variants of Unix. As you can see, some of the major players are represented here. We have IBM. <laughs> it's a pretty pathetic tick, but there you go. Apple. <laughs> Even worse one, never mind. Hewlett-Packard, Silicon Graphics, uh, Sun, Digital. These are all very big players in the computer software market. There's a few versions that run on PCs, Linux, SCO Unix, and Unixware, which I don't believe exists anymore. It's, I think it's been merged with SCO Unix to form another product. A couple of them are free. FreeBSD and Linux are free. And QNX is one of the most important Unixes in the real-time Unix market. So how compatible are all these variants of Unix? Well, that's quite a complex question. The aspect of that question that's most relevant to this particular course is, if you learn one version of Unix, how well will that skill set transfer to any other version of Unix? And that too is a complex question. The answer is in essentially four parts. Firstly, I'll mention end users. And by end users, I mean people who only use Unix for the purpose of running particular programs. They do no system administration. They're just end users, users of applications. Anyway, for these people, we'll talk first about the Unix shell, which is the subject of this course. End users will find that the Unix shell is absolutely, or at least virtually, identical across all the variants of Unix. So if you learn about the Unix shell in one version of Unix, then those skills that you learn will transfer perfectly across to any other version of Unix. Obviously, you need to make sure you're running the same shell. In other words, the born shell, the C shell, and so on. We'll talk about the versions of the Unix shell in the next chapter. So for end users of the Unix shell, there is virtually complete compatibility. All the skills you learn on one will work on another. 
Now again with end users, if you're not talking about the Unix shell but instead talking about one of the GUIs like X Windows or Motif, these do differ from versions of Unix to another. But they're reasonably straightforward. In other words, if you've learnt one, you'll probably find it quite easy to learn any other one. And we won't dwell on that because that's not really the subject of this course. Now, getting away from end users, we'll talk about now advanced users such as programmers. Unix shell scripting is also almost identical across all the Unixes. What that means is if you write a Unix shell script, say a Unix born shell script, on one variant of Unix, the chances are that script will run perfectly well on any other version of Unix. It may require some slight modifications because files may be in different locations and so on. Nevertheless, if you write your shell script well enough, you may find that it is completely portable. And finally, system administrators. Now, system administrators will find the greatest differences. Virtually every version of Unix has a different method of system administration. Unix is quite a complex and difficult system to administer, and most of the software vendors have invented their own ways of making this easier for you. Sadly, they're all different ways. And so if you learn system administration on one ver version of Unix, the only thing that's going to tide you well to the next version of Unix is the concepts you've learned. The actual processes and techniques will probably be somewhat different. So to summarize that, if you're working on the Unix shell in any way, shape or form, either as an end user or as a programmer, you'll find almost complete compatibility between the various Unixes. And that makes up the subject matter of the virtual training company's two Unix courses. One is Introduction to the Unix Shell, which is this course. The other is Unix Shell Scripting. Both of these courses will be compatible with virtually every version of Unix that there is.